talking about solving for x. So, the first step is to isolate the variable, which is x, the place holder for the unknown number. Now, it's not always going to be x, it can be any letter. Now what we're going to talk about is inverse operations. Inverse operations is the opposite of any operation. Now, if we had addition, what would be the inverse operation of that? Subtraction. If we had division, what would be the inverse operation of that? We all know multiplication. Okay, so what would be the inverse operation of this operation? So, we have subtraction. The inverse operation would be um, addition. So we're going to um, add 15 to both sides. So the 15 out. Now we're going to rewrite the problem. Okay, so the answer would be x equals 41. Now we're going to do a different problem. You see, we have. 6y equals 30. That means 6 multiplied by something equals 30. Now, we have multiplication. What would be the uh, inverse operation of that? Division. Now we're going to divide 6 to each side. Now, the answer would be at y equals 5. Now, we're not always going to have these problems. You may think these are easy to figure out, but we can sometimes have fractions, decimals, big numbers, anything. But the main thing that you have to worry about is isolate the variable and inverse operations. Now, that's how you solve for it.